Tens of thousands of soldiers have fought for our freedom, many of them paying the ultimate price, and those who survived, the scars they bear are both physical and mental. Today we share one woman's mission to help wounded warriors, plus why war isn't the only situation that can trigger the disorder. Recognizing the people who wear a uniform to serve and protect, how Delaware is honoring the men and women in blue. Okay, so does your garage look anything like this? Well, if it does, you ain't the only one. Uh, some experts rank the garage as the most disorganized room in the house, and we're going to have to tell you how you can change that. People have been trying to harness the power of solar energy for years. Today, we'll show you a company who's putting that power to good use and saving you money. And we're in the kitchen with Matt Haley making not one, but two, two, two recipes. <laughs> a delicious Wahoo dish and a honey and peach dessert. My mouth's watering already. Now Marble Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopple. Welcome to Del Marble Life from Historic Studio D. Yeah. Did you enjoy the storms last night? I, you know, it wasn't until I got up this morning and I turned on, turned the news on right. and you guys were talking about it. I was like, yeah, that's right. I did hear a little thunder last night. I can tell you exactly when they rolled through Laurel. Right? Yeah, when the dogs jumped in the bed. Oh. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's got a scaredy cat dog. <laughs> Has anybody else got a chicken? You got a chicken dog? Oh, man. I got a chicken dog. I yeah. used to. I used to have a dog like that. Didn't like the thunder. Mm -mm. Lost a whole hour's sleep right there just before the alarm clock goes off. Want to say congratulations real quick this afternoon to Raisha Foster and Elena Carter who are winners of the Delaware Teen Idol Contest. If you look there, Raisha's on the right and the other's on the left and that's Raisha's aunt Bobby uh, standing there behind the trophy. Uh, Raisha dedicated her dance, they, they danced in the conversation, because Bobby underwent two brain surgeries in July due to a car accident. Oh my. So it was a wonderful event. The mm -hmm. event is actually to raise awareness of AIDS. Uh, AIDS Delaware asked contestants to deliver positive messages through poetry, rap, songs, dance, uh, in the hope that familiar art forms and young performers would help the teenagers relate. So a terrific event there. Congratulations yeah. on winning a trophy. It was Delaware nice. Idol. Yeah, and we already know that Delmarva is packed with so much talent. And here's a couple more. Shelby and Katie Benson of Delmar, Delaware. Take a look at this. They competed against 20,000 others to qualify for the 31st Annual Red Bull AMA Amateur National Motocross Championships in Tennessee. Oh and guess goodness. what? They made it. They made it? They made it. Oh, wow. Uh, this is a, a look at the video. Katie's actually in this video. This yeah. is a demo video. This is not the actual event. But, I mean, look at that. doesn't look like fun. And, you know, I always think it's a boys' sport. I guess I, I shouldn't say it. you always think. I, I always <laughs> think, you know, the boys compete. But those girls can get out there and race. Uh, Katie is 10. She's been riding since she was 4. 4. 13-year-old Shelby. Her sister has been riding ever since she was 7. She's been riding since she was Four. Wow. <laughs> I, I, and I'm just going to say this. Okay, I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't know if I could let my little girl go out on a motorcycle at four. Obviously, they did well. Yeah, Obviously, they did well. I guess it's tough. just me. Four years old. Whew. Man. I want to tell you about an event that's coming up this weekend. Local musicians are coming together to pay tribute to a man that really did a lot musically in the community, specifically in Salisbury, John Postley. Now, Mr. Postley was a Salisbury local musician, and apparently he used to spend a lot of time uh, serving and performing in his community. Uh, the Lake Street Playground and Park, which is over uh, west, part, west part of uh, oh, right, Salisbury, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he would he'd take his bass guitar, go down there and play, and other community members members really? would come listen, play with him or whatever. Unfortunately, he has passed. So to remember what he did and what he did for all of these people, uh, they have this tribute concert every year. Uh, this is the second year scheduled to appear this year. These bands, On the Edge, you know them from here, Uprising, Blues Man, Tom Larson. You remember Tom oh, Larson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the second year for the event. And here's the event details if you want to head out there. It's Saturday. August 24th from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Lake Street Playground. That's in Salisbury. There's a phone number if you want more information, 410-546-3458. Nice. Now, I am one of the biggest fans of the Boy Scouts of America, and you were telling me something about uh, an award, a citizenship award. Well, every year they give the Distinguished Citizens Award, the, the Boy Scout Council, the Delmarva Council, the Boy right. Scouts of America, and last night they held their uh, Distinguished Citizens Award dinner in East End, and this man, Dr. Stuart Bounds, was honored at the annual awards dinner held at Tidewater Inn in Easton. This is Dr. Stuart Bounds. He's on the left there holding the, uh, I guess, trophy yeah. for 16 years. 
years, the Distinguished Citizen Award event has been one of the premier events. I've been to one. They're very nice. Um, it recognizes people who give freely of their time and talents to improve the quality of life for young people here on the shore. And Dr. Bounds recently retired as the president of the Midshore Community Foundation. Prior to that, he did. He was president of Chesapeake College. He's done all kinds of stuff. Where does he find the time? I don't know. That is, <laughs> well, he's retired, that so. That is amazing. Okay, so there's something going on. Uh, as a matter of fact, in less than an hour, as a matter of fact, big doings going on. Some of the best chefs in Rehoboth Beach are going to be together today at the convention center for a taste of Rehoboth. Now, what they're going to do is they will each have a dish. It's going to be paired up with dogfish head beer or wine to raise money for the Food Bank of Delaware. They're hoping that it's going to become an annual event showcasing over 15 restaurants from the area. Here's, here's what you need to do and where you need to go. It's going to be at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center from 5 o'clock, less than an hour from now, till 8. Uh, 50 bucks at the door, well worth the price. And if you want to know more about it, go to DelmarbaLife.com. Well, Ocean City is building a new place to park those shiny red fire trucks. Look at that. Yes, at they he's, are. He's so excited. Oh, I, this is, this is, I mean, they've been talking about this for the longest time. Um, the Midtown Station, number three, which is at 74th Street right now, they got a little teeny tiny lot and there's no place to expand. So they're right. going to go to 65th Street and they're going to build a new Midtown there. It's actually not going to be until like 2018, something like that. Um, over, the reason they're doing this, over half of Ocean City's population lives north of 94th Street. Right. So they're, they're trying to make sure they got the fire service uh, up there for all the residents going that way. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. Now, if you are interested in history here on Delmarva, you are going to love this. For the first time, what they found from eight years of historic excavations from the Y House in Easton going to be on display tomorrow. It's a mm -hmm. rare display of archival materials, household objects, books, recipe collections, maps, uh, artwork, all kinds of things related to the slaves, workers, and families who have lived and worked at Y House for 200 years. Give or take a year. Give or take. Maybe a month or two. <laughs> uh, the Joint Heritage at Y House is uh, it, it's being put on by the Academy Art Museum and University of Maryland. The reception is tomorrow evening at 5.30, goes until 7.30, and then you can go see the entire exhibition uh, tomorrow through October 15th. So be sure to get out to that. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Good time for all. Can, can I share a cute video? Of course. And let me guess, it has kittens in it. <laughs> Caught me again. Here's the question for you. Have you ever wanted to play with a vacuum cleaner when nobody was looking? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> just wait for that whole kitten just to go oh, right into it. Uh, that no. would not be good. Still to come on, yeah, it would. Still to come on, <laughs> Delmarva Live. Tools, toys, boxes, and bikes. How much stuff is stuffed in your garage? Professional organizers say it can be the most disorganized room in your house. We've got some advice on how you can get it in order. Plus, there are so many museums on Delmarva. We're going to take you inside the Delaware State Police Museum. Wait until you see how much police work has changed. Mm -hmm. But up next, we learn more about the invisible scars of war. Psychologically, we get injuries too, and psychologically we need to heal so that we get on with our lives. One woman's mission to help military servicemen and women win the battle over PTSD. That's how the disorder can impact anyone. Delmarva Life, life at its best, here on Delmarva. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 